Lot of green in my pocket, St. Patrick. I'm a star with a rock like I'm Patrick. I was sending the drugs out for Samsung. Karuchi look best and handsome. Put your bitch in the middle like Malcolm. Beat it up like we cooking the anthem. Like a down hold ass down for ransom. Fuck it up. Yeah, you know we gon' stretch, huh? Little nigga. What's up with it? What's up with it? What's up with it? K.A. Soda Vine. K.A. Vuitton, the number one down. You hear what I said? So good I sleep with a cutter up a tunnel on a tongue. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Hey, hey, hey. What's up with it? What's up with it? Anyways, we're back in this time. Now, I'm gonna cover two niggas at once. I could do two separate videos when nigga I'm lazy. I'm gonna cover two niggas at once, alright? You probably don't want two videos either. But shout out good mob, you know what I'm saying? Shout out shout out. How y'all? How y'all doing today? Right in the comments. How y'all? Y'all good? What's up with y'all? Y'all straight today? What's up? Good? We in a pattern being shit. Tell, tell me about y'all something, man. What y'all like to do, man? Right there in the comments, man. Shit. Like, chop it up one time. We bored, fuck it. Chop it up, you know, make a little community day, y'all talk about your bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Go, yeah! Yeah, man, come chop it up one time. Oh, you know, yeah, come, yeah, come sit down, you know, just talk about our bullshit, you know? Talk about bullshit that Guan, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas seen the presidential debate? Put that down there, you know, talk about it. By the way, the fact they gonna do that shit like two more times, if, <laughs> if you've seen the first one, I know, side note, but like, fam, what? I ain't gonna lie, Trump be getting his shit off. He don't care if he win or lose. He getting his shit off, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of entertained. It was kind of ratchet. I ain't think why motherfuckers going kind of be ratchet like that, but hey. <laughs> I was fucking with it a little bit. Hey. I entertain this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anyway, the reason y'all here. NBA Youngboy in the lead chop. We're gonna break it down. I'm gonna start with NBA Youngboy first because he ain't that hard. So NBA Youngboy, Bank and Band Rules, you know, mostly record. He got he stay in Houston and I think he got a place in LA too. You know, he, he frequents those places, but like basically he got arrested again. You know, he records all this music like LA and Houston and shit and he went back to Ban Rouge to shoot the music video, you know, with his partners or his homies, whoever the hell that everybody was. And all of them got locked up. I think it was between like sixteen to eighteen motherfuckers that got locked up, including and be a young boy, you know, Ken Trail. And he locked him up. He got out. He paid his bill. He got all his niggas out. And he's good. You know what I'm saying? Gucci. Now, this thing. A lot of people are like, man, damn, NBA young boy. Yeah, you always be in trouble. This is the thing. Number one, he didn't do anything. He was just shooting his music video. I think it's off of shit. The other people that was there doing. But again, we ain't talking about them. This is the thing. A lot of people are like, yo, you should stop doing this. But see, this is the thing. Stop doing that. Stop going around there. And yeah, that's even the case. The judge, when he was doing this case, like, bro, I want to give you a chance. I believe you. Da, 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 da. The label's backing him. The CEO's writing, like, fucking um, letters to the judge. Like, yo, you good kid. Like, just came up in a bad environment. He's trying to make a way. And he's like, yo. I have, and the judge was like, yo, I see growth in you. You have potential. You know what? First of all, he has, like, a 10, like, year susp uh, suspended sentence, which means, like, He's out now, but you gotta go serve the time eventually. So whenever the fuck that is, if he's old and he does it, he does it then. I don't know what the fuck gonna happen. Hey, anyways, I don't know how he moving. I don't know how he moving. He got a suspended thing, this nigga. Anyways, he doing that shit. And then he just got off probation off some other shit, I think. I don't know if he has to go serve that again. I thought he got off probation for the 10-year suspended thing. But I don't know. That motherfucker go back to jail so much, bro. You don't know, bro. You don't know. You don't know. But anyways, the thing about bro is like, yo, you should stop doing it. This is the thing. You gotta look at it. Why the fuck we like NBA Young Boy or love him to a certain extent that we thought N. Lee Chopper was a clone? Just the nigga's a hood ass nigga. He speak for the streets. He tough as fuck, bro. We see Young Boy and motherfucker try to beef with him. You gonna blow his head off? That's what we assume. We see him in the videos. This nigga got multiple guns. All this shit. And he talking his ish. That's why we love the nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he does his shit perfectly. See? The fact he just dropped his album like a week or two weeks ago. 
maybe three weeks ago, and he's already shooting another music video. I don't even know if it's for the album, because Young Bubba would just be dropping random songs on YouTube. Like, I wanted that Rod Wave song to be on the album so bad, but he said, man, fuck it, just drop this bitch. Saying, it's just crazy, man. You just drop some shit and it just goes. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't even be surprised if it had nothing to do with the album. But anyways, as he's doing that, it's like, yeah. Because NBA Youngboy understands his demographics. Like, oh, these niggas like my shit. They like when I talk about his shit. They like when I'm fucking around doing all this shit. All right, cool. And he go does that. And that's why he's lit as fuck. He has a fucking loyal fan base. He's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, yo, bro, I be fucking with the albums. You could say, yo, the nigga talks about the same shit. Hey, it be going for me. You be going for me. You be good. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I'm here for it, bro. I'll fall with it. You know, hopefully he is okay. I don't want him to end up like Kodak, who, like, the feds got him and he be in jail for a long time. And I don't want him to have to... If he's not off probation, off that thing, fully take the 10 years that he has to do, apparently. I don't know if he got off that or not. I really don't fucking know. Anyways, I know you off probation. I don't know, my nigga. I'm sorry. I do more of my Googles and shit. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, that's his thing. Now, Anna Lee Chopper. Dundada. Got shots like Okada. Baby Mexico. Shot of float. Shot of fam. No love entertainment, whatever you call this dude, you know. Double XL freshman, 2020, you know what I'm saying? Selling the bowls, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, anyways. Him. Now, positive NLE chopper. I don't know what the fuck we're going to call this nigga, fucking. I don't know. NLE light town, fucking. Oh, yeah, nigga. But anyway. The positive one is out here telling, retelling a story on his YouTube channel, which is funny that rappers are becoming YouTubers. Him, Namir, which, if y'all want a video on him, I could do it. Like, honestly, bro, the whole YBN collect, I just, man, man. Cordae put in the work. I don't know what the fuck Almighty J doing there. Namir is just like a fucking, like, you see how the girls have the dog, the, the small dogs in the handbag? He's basically that for his girlfriend. That's all he fucking does. But anyways, he's trying to come back. I'm just like, hmm. Took too long of a break, my friend. Like, anyways. We could we could have a segment for him. Anyways, uh, so do what do shine? Oh uh, fuck, what's that gonna say? Yeah, so him he's retelling a story how apparently he went to go see his child. Uh, he was like aggressive or whatever, and the family called the police. His baby mom's family called called the police. If you look at his baby mama's side, apparently they say he shot up some shit. His baby mama never met she shot up some shit. He even said there was no shell casings on the ground or whatever. You know what I'm saying if I did shoot up some shit, she was saying he was being rough. You know what I'm saying he was being a little aggressive. You go in the garage, you see bullet holes. How he shot up the house, and it's like, I refuse to believe this man will shoot up the house that his baby is in. No matter what, I refuse to believe this man would shoot up a house that his baby is in. No fucking way. Like, there's certain narratives I refuse. I get it. People are capable of anything. But I refuse. I need concrete evidence. The baby mom did even didn't say she didn't shoot the house up. And the fact, the police came and they didn't find no shell casings. Like, how the frig you shoot the house up then? Magic? This nigga be conjuring up bullets? I know he was playing with fire and that little gift, whatever the fuck he was doing. This nigga conjuring up bullets now? Shooting up houses and things? No! This motherfucker Galgamesh from fucking Fate. The Fate series, like, what, what, it scares me. <laughs> Anyways, this happening. So, at this point, bro, and first of all, Lee, like, I don't know if you're, like, trying to be the avatar, whatever the fuck you're trying to Nigga, what? Anyways, be positive, though. I don't even want you to be, like, mad all the time, like, shoot blocks and shit. To be able, it'll be in a hood nigga hard, man. Niggas have trauma and shit, man. So, when we trust a bitch, we trust a bitch. When you cross us, we gotta do you dirty, we gotta say fuck you. That's, like, that's how it is. Anyway. But second, nigga, stop. Stop it. Now, I understand. You want to see your kid, so you push the, the way a little bit. I'm going to go see my kid, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, shawty, like, man, you rich, you fucking all these bitches, man. Shit. I want you back. Probably ain't seen it properly. I don't know. But anyways, bro, you just got to get yourself out of the situation. And he even says his mama warned him, like, nah, don't go over there. You're just going to have problems. Either y'all go to court and y'all work out this custody thing, or honestly, bro, just have a court order that, yo, you can chill with your child. And then if it's that crazy, bring, like, 
a mediator come pick up the child from homegirl house and bring it to you and kick it and then when y'all done like he stay over for, for what, two three days he gotta go back to mom's the next person drop him back off that's how you gonna do you gotta find a middleman whether that's your mom her best friend whatever the hell it is y'all just gotta find a middleman to figure this shit out because it's just looking bad and the fact they painting you crazy like you shooting up your house with your baby and like what what i don't know man honestly we could have another video about if violence sells music because again i could really break down the nba young boy thing we could have another video on it to be honest if you haven't even seen the first one violent does violence sell music go check that out i was mostly talking about nle chop chopo going like positive and stopping the shot of fan you know Guns like Okada, all that nonsense, stopping that itch, you know what I'm saying? But like, hey, go check out the first installment, check that out. Because it was mostly on NLE job. We could break down and be a young boy and certain shit I, I have gathered, information I gathered and ascertained. We could break it down, but hey, it is what it is. But anyways, you know, I should try to do all that stuff, share it to everyone. You fucking know. You know what I'm saying? When you go to a... Go to your homeboy birthday party or something like I got you a gift, you know, open the I'm saying, yo bro, this is my phone. You just gave me my phone again. Nah 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 go on there. Open your phone. What, what that video say? Who did who did who gave a time, man? This your gift. You know what I'm saying? Go check out the, all the videos, man. Go check that out. It will be entertaining shit, man. I love you boy. You hear me? Shit, even even, even girls like oh my gosh, like I found this YouTuber. His name's K Vatan. Check him out. Happy birthday, sis. You know what I'm saying? Do that hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm from the heart, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm out this shit, you know what I'm saying? Slimes and peace, y'all. I subscribe to all that bullshit. I said it twice. I'm just rambling at this point. But anyways, yeah. What else I got to say, man? Uh, RP, SG, Brazy, I found out he passed away. 2020, you bitch. Yeah, I found out he passed away, bro. Shout out, yo. RP, bro. If you want a song to go listen to him by, I suggest 23 with him. And three problems, you know what I'm saying? Go check that shit out, that shit fine. But anyways, enough of my bullshit here. Like, sh yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it a third time. Slime, Zoom, PCR, RP, all the fun, and RP, Kobe 24, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey. Whoever watches, if y'all lost some people, RP to them too, you know what I'm saying? RP, my phone, and people, you know, we in this thing. I'm just gonna see where this journey takes us, anyways. Hey, gang. Shout out Gunner Mob too, y'all. Hey, y'all the ones that keep doing this ish, man. 24 of y'all, man. RP 24, you me, man. We legendary in this bitch. We only got 24 shit. It's only 24 people in this exclusive club. You know, it could grow, but hey. If it's just us and we rocking on, we rocking on. It is what it is. I'm done talking my stupid ish. Hey.